Pro. Hello, welcome to ADSR Pro with me, Mike Smith. Today I'm going to show you a quick tutorial on sidechain reverb. Uh, what we're going to do is duck a reverb with our vocal in our track and we're also going to apply the reverb to the vocal at the same time. So what this means is we've got a vocal here. Let's play you a quick piece. Is this the way how you make me fall apart? Is this the way how you break a good girl's heart? So what we're going to do is um, apply a reverb uh, to this vocal and when the vocal comes in it'll duck the reverb so you'll hardly hear any of it and then when the vocal stops or the quieter it becomes the reverb then opens up. So F4, let's create an, an effects channel, we'll add track, we'll call this SC Reverb. Press F3 to open our mixer, and here's our newly created track. So on the inserts, first of all, we need to apply reverb. Uh, we'll use the reverence. Uh, let's have let's have that one. So big stadium reverb. Now after the reverb, we need to put our compressor, and we'll use the Cubase one. Make sure we activate the side chain. And now on our vocals, what we need to do is we need to send a signal to the compressor. So we'll send one into the side chain. We'll turn that on. And we also need to send our vocals to the reverb itself. So there's a reverb effects channel. And turn that on. So now that's it dry. Is this the way how you saw it? There's our reverb. Is this the way how you planned it from the start? Is this the way how you lived it in your mind? Now into our compressor, I'll go to extreme so you can hear it. We'll put quite a large ratio on. A little bit of attack, quite a long release. So there you can hear there's <clears throat> reverb on the vocal as well as it ducking when the vocal um, plays. So what you could do is obviously just tweak tweak the settings. Obviously I've sent a, a large signal to the compressor so the compressor triggers quite quickly. You can obviously adjust the amount of reverb that's actually on the vocal. Is this the way how you end it? Is this the way how you make me fall apart? Is this the way how you break a good girl's heart? Ah, is this the way how you saw it? Is this the way how you planned it from the start? Is this the way how you lived it in your mind? Is this the way how you end it? Is this the way how you make me fall apart? Is this the way how you break a good girl's heart? Oh, is this the way how you saw it? There you go, that's just a, a quick tutorial. <clears throat> as you can hear there, I mean it's quite a subtle effect, however you can make it as extreme or as subtle as you like. The beauty of this, um, it allows, obviously when the when the vocal is singing, um, it allows clarity because you haven't got a wash of reverb and the quieter it gets, the reverb turns up and fills your mix up. Obviously this can be used as an effect as well. So really at the end of this uh, vocal, where the vocal stops, the reverb wash would build up. Break good girl's heart. Doesn't 
doesn't have to be used on vocals. You could you could use it on anything. Plus, you can trigger it from anything. The main thing um, what people tend to do will be to trigger your reverb from your kick drum. Again, which is possible. Um, let us just go to our kick here. Um, we'll send it to the compressor there. And just turn it off on this one. There you can hear the um, vocal being triggered by the kick drum. That there's the input or the gain reduction triggered by the kick drum. There you go, you can hear the reverb duck in via the kick. Just a couple of quick ways there then of using sidechain uh, reverb in your tracks. Again, you're not limited to vocals. Uh, you can trigger from anything. You could trigger the reverb from your percussion or vice versa. It doesn't have to be melodic. Again, you can apply the reverb to your percussion, maybe your percussion group, and trigger it from other parts of your percussion. So in the gaps, it's filled with reverb. The beauty of that, again, is you don't swamp your mix um, you know, you're choosing where the reverb is and where it isn't. Uh, it's a good way of clearing up your tracks, yet making them sound full. So, hope you found this interesting. If you've got any questions, please don't forget to get in touch. And of course, subscribe to my channel. And in the meantime, till next time, bye bye.